never be satisfied. I just always want to learn more, always want to play more, and that's just like a that's a daily thing. But how did I feel when I when I saw myself on, on, on screen? I was a little freaked out. I, I didn't really know how to feel about it. You know, you tend to judge yourself, pick yourself apart. And, um, you know, the second video especially was like this super resolution camera to do, I mean, the dude was the man. Um, so it's like, wow. Um, but, you know, that was, it's, you know, no pain, no gain. Right, right. <laughs> all right, I want, yeah. some, I want some opinions on some, on some hip-hop artists, all right? So, uh, Vinny Paz, your self-titled. Paz. Okay. Dre or Snoop? I mean, those two are together, so you, I don't think you can separate those two. They come in a package. You're just dodging the question like that. All right. Um, you know? Eminem or Immortal Technique? Huh. That's really interesting. Um, well, it depends on what you're asking for. Because overall, of course, Eminem was a way bigger artist. But, but uh, Immortal Technique is like a super, super, you know, woke activist type dude and he's very necessary for that so yeah i love you know both of those guys deserve a lot of respect for sure right all right nwa and or run dmc i would take run dmc in that no doubt run dmc right on but um that, but that's just personal preference right that's what i'm asking for i'm asking for personal preference you gave me your exact opinion man it works out um where can we look to check out your your stuff I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I don't know if I might never release music again, bro. You know? Wow. I, 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 yeah, I might, I might, you know, just play my instruments and, and, and do that and just continue to, to build on the self, man, and building up the self and building up the mind and, and stuff like that. I mean, I, I just gain a lot of happiness from, from doing normal stuff. And from, like, empowering myself through knowledge and empowering myself through mindfulness and empowering myself through exercise and just, you know, trying to be around the people that I can, you know, that I'm close to and enjoy their company and, and help whoever I can, you know. And that might not mean with putting out music for me. That's like an everyday thing, you know. That's like a community thing right. where I'm checking in up on people in the community, you know, and I, it's just, my passion is helping people and making people happy. So, you know, however I can do that more, um, I'm going to try to do. Who, who's the biggest positive influence you have in your life right now? Right now? Man, that is, that is a great question. Um, the biggest positive influence I have right now well, I, I couldn't pick one person, bro, because I, I don't know anybody who I'm connecting to who's really, like, mm, you know, on, on that same level of wanting that inner self-improvement. I'm just coming across more and more people, you know, that's getting shallower and shallower, more disconnected and more disconnected and further away from things that I think that are most important. So I, I don't know, man. You know, I, I wouldn't mm -hmm. say anybody is influencing me right now. I'm, I'm, maybe this is selfish to say, but, you know, I'm like standing on my own too completely. Wow. That's some honest shit right there, man. That was fucking real. Right on. You know. I'll tell you, man. So, like... It's just, you know, for me, I'm like, I'm getting as grounded as possible. You know, I'm going to grow roots. I'm so grounded. Wow. I'll tell you, man, that's yeah. a, that's definitely the quality of a leader. You definitely have leadership qualities, man. I, I put that over for you right now. Um, all right, we are out of time. Uh, stay on the line so I can say goodbye to you. But I want to thank you for coming on the show and giving us your insight. Um, it was a pleasure just talking to you. And uh, we'll definitely be keeping in touch, bro. Definitely good to hear from you, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have a great day, man. Take care. Peace. I won't ever slack up, punk 
Welcome back, everybody, to the One Stone Dude Podcast. I hope you enjoyed that interview. In the studio, in the barbecue pit, I got my man, K. Now, K I've known for about, fuck, man, 13 years? Something close to that? Um, me and this motherfucker met in Narcotics Anonymous, believe it or not. And uh, right now, I'm about to take this big old, because he's fucking high as shit already. And I'm about to take a bong rip of, what do we got, Kay? Uh, we got uh, Doctor Who flour with some sour apple diesel uh, distillate on top. A little moon rock act- action going on. Nice, nice. Um, so I'm going to get, I'm going to get, uh, he's dropping a drop on there for me. I'm going to take another bong rip on the hey, uh, one I'm on here. Uh, wow, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. On that little ass nug, that's a lot. I'm going to die. <laughs> I might die on this podcast. Hold on a second, everybody. Mm, you don't have sauce. Fuck that, dude. I'm not going to let you waste that sauce. <laughs> Anyhow, so Kevin is going to do guest spots on my show here and there. Um, he's pretty much my best friend out here in Arizona. Um... And, uh, he's, he's, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, he's, he's a unique individual. It's the best thing I can say about Kevin. He's a unique individual. He's got definitely, um, well, let's give people a little insight on you, Kevin. Um, you got, you got into an accident or you were in a, you're in an accident at a young child, at, at a young age, correct? Yeah. What happened? I was riding my bike home from school one day and I got hit by a car and my, Head basically bounced off the concrete, and I. Pro, they didn't know it at the how to treat concussions that well back then, so they didn't really test me for that stuff. So I'm assuming I got a concussion. They never really gave you like a medical diagnosis of no, it. No, no, they did not. Oh wow! And did you sue anybody? I. I was young, dude. We didn't think about that shit back then, dude. Right, right, right. Um, well, we're going to get into some, some questions I'm going to ask you. Give, uh, give our audience a little more insight. I was in, like, fifth grade. You are in fifth grade? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm 38 now, dude. Well, Do I had to math. ask about it. Do the math, bro. Right. <laughs> all right, man. Let's jump into some shit, all right? Uh, with everything going on in the world, do you think this is one big conspiracy? Yes and no. Okay. I think it's a conspiracy from either our government or the Chinese government to uh, reduce the population and um, so they don't have to pay for the resources and uh, the line, the big corporations' but, uh, pockets. That's, wow. That's some shit right there. Um do you think Trump is doing a decent job with the outbreak, or is he just failing completely? 100% no, dude. He, he failed on every level to contain this outside the U.S., and he saw it coming and did nothing to uh, stop, stop it until it was too late. Okay. Um, you were laid off from your job. Because uh, furloughed. Furloughed, yeah. For because of the outbreak. Yeah. Um... What challenges have you been facing because of that? Uh, food, uh, paying my bills. I've gotten, uh, I've been getting calls every day about my, uh, about like my credit card bills and and my car pay. Oh, car payment. Um, they were good with me. They they're giving me some time. Are you Ford, you're a Ford customer, correct? Yeah, Ford Credit. There you go. Here's a little endorsement for Ford. Uh... Yeah, they, they gave me three months furlough of my next payment. Wow. Wow. Uh, me and you are huge fans of comedians. Oh, All right, so yeah. I want you to pick your favorite comedian out of this list and tell me why. Oh, dude. Okay? So it's like picking my favorite child. All right, well, you got to try. All right? Uh, Christopher Titus, Andrew Dice Clay, mm. The Machine, Burt Kirshner. Joe Rogan, mm. Joey Diaz, Cat Williams, or Dave Chappelle? Fuck. 
I have to pick the top what? The top your favorite comedian out of all those guys. I don't all those guys? Yeah, and why? Fuck dude. You're so fucking baked right now. Yeah, you fucking are. <laughs> oh shit. He just lifted up his sunglasses and his eyes look make them look Asian. So <laughs> All right, let's let's try this one. Christopher Titus or Andrew Dice Clay? Dice Clay. Okay. Uh, the Machine versus Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Joey Diaz and Cat Williams. Joey Diaz. Dave Chappelle or Ron White? Who? Ron White or Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle. Okay, so we said Dice. So Dice um, versus Diaz. Dice. Why? Why would you pick him over top of uh... Diaz? Yeah, because you're a huge fan of Joey Diaz. I am, dude, but I'm a bigger fan of Dice Clay, dude. I've been that was probably one of my first uh, HBO specials I've saw. I think when you're our age, that's the same. Yeah, I think the feelings. This. I think we have the same thing going on. I think uh, everybody got a dose of Dice Clay at a very young age. And uh, <laughs> probably wasn't the most appropriate age for us to be no, getting exposed to him, but... No, but, but he's, he stood the test of time, dude. Do you like his older stuff? His newer stuff? Do you like his newer stuff, too? I, I like his newer stuff and his older stuff, dude. I love it all. I have... I personally... This is just my opinion. Um, I don't think he's changed with the times, and I think he should. He has changed with the... His you think he has? Stuff, his new stuff is up to date to what he does now, is going on now. Okay, give me your first reaction to the machine. Like the first time you heard that story. Or Dude, heard... I laughed harder than I did when I watched The Hangover the first time, dude. Wow. That, my chest hurt for a long time afterwards from, <laughs> from the uncontrollable laughter about that machine story. Um, what podcast do you watch, to, would you watch or listen to and why? Joe Rogan experience and occasionally Joey Diaz podcast too. Okay. Um, why why Rogan? Why are you so intrigued with Rogan? He has like the funniest people come on and the most interesting people come on. Right, right. That's that's what I'm tr- I'm trying that formula too, man. <laughs> um, like um, he'll have like scientists on there that I I won't listen to because I can't understand half of what they're saying <laughs> but everything else like uh, we, if it ha- if a uh, guest is about, about working now or uh, fitness or something or uh, he has a lot of military and hunters on there uh, I listen the hell out of those guys nice um, on top of the comedians okay let's switch uh, gears here you were a boy scout yeah. What life lessons did you learn? Survival. Like you could survive in the woods, make fire, cook food, stuff like that. Yeah. Right on, man. Um, that's uh. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the scandal that's going on? Like, like it seems like What's every time I turn on the radio, there's a commercial um, to, for people wanting to uh, sue the Boy Scouts. Ba- Boy Scouts of America went bankrupt. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. I saw something on Facebook about if you thought you were abused by the Boy Scouts or something, click click this link yeah. and it takes you to some like uh, law form law form website some of, about ambulance fucking chambers. being raped. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, damn dude. Yeah, that, that's unfortunately that's a common occurrence in the Boy Scouts. Yeah. I don't when did, when, did, when did people just started molesting people? I don't like know, dude. It, it seemed like it all happened at once. Everyone everyone I went to the Boy Scouts with was straight as fuck. <laughs> all we did was talk Talked about getting high and uh, getting pussy.